If I could describe myself in like five words, it would have to be unique, individual, a little cuckoo at times, <laughs> humble, and bold, bold, bold. On my album, Solo Star, each song takes you to a different element. I know on my first single, Feeling You, I have a whole reggae dance hall vibe to it, but at the end of the day, it's an R&B hip hop song. I don't wanna just be another singer or a good dancer. What's up, BTs? How I'm living? I'm here at the rehearsal hall. I'm about to run through my songs for a lot of upcoming events I have. Rehearsal is definitely a big reflection of yourself. I thought it was really important for me to express myself on the album. Therefore, I wrote and co-produced 85% of it. Got this hypnotizing smile that makes me stop and realize As an entertainer, I think that you have to be able to do it all. I recorded my album in L.A. And every time I go out there, I go to Melrose. We went shopping um, for the AMAs. So of course I didn't have shoes. I love this shoe store. I will go broke in here. See, I'm cheap. I'll tell you that right now. That's why I'm able to talk about. Oh, look at those black ones right there, Mom. Which one? The ones with the rhinestone thing around. I picked out the shoe, like, automatically. It was in the window. I was like, that's perfect. Let's get it, and let's be out. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. It's really cool for people to know my song because I'm a new artist, and I'm just, you know, stepping my foot out of the door, and it's just really cool for people to love my music and sing along to it. <laughs> Did the makeup and then I put on the dress. I felt so glammed up. So we are just now getting here to the American Music Awards. I'm gonna present and I will see you guys in Houston. But for now, this is how I'm living. It was really cool. Afterwards, we got out of there. I like to get in, get in what I have to do and go. We're at Elmore Middle School. We're in Houston and hopefully the kids are excited because I'm excited. I've been doing a lot of speaking lately because I remember how hard it was for me to grow up in middle school. I remember being in sixth and seventh and eighth grade and how hard, how hard it was for me to want to be my own individual and people not accepting it. I have a song on my album called Solo Star, which a lot of times I teach to the kids. Hello, I'm a solo star, keep rocking, don't follow nobody's lead, lead. Everyone at the school showed me love, and we had a freestyle session. Hold on, I'm making A to B, but I like to shoot black and ball and shoot free. Hold on, man, they call me the N1, but I like to go ahead and shoot my Watch the car. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Anyway, it was really cool, and they showed me love. I'm about to go sign some autographs. and I showed them love, so we got an even exchange. I play the drum. (laughs) 
Can be jamming. James be jamming, boy. This is our retarded bird, Jelly. I really don't like Jelly, because he tried to attack me one time. When I first decided that I wanted to redecorate it, my room, I decided I wanted to go with an oriental theme. Every black family knows about these. These will get you through the time. Six for a dollar. Raymond noodles. That's how we living. Still live with my parents. All right, so this area right here is the dining room and the little lookout to the lake room. Um, I don't really spend much time in here because I'm scared I'm gonna break something. I guess you could say it's really nice to come out and look at the water. We got a piano, but nobody's Alicia Kennedy out in this house. I play the drums. <laughs> but I'm gonna get better though, I'm gonna get better, and that's the point. I don't spend much time in the kitchen because everyone in my house is a meat eater and I'm a vegetarian. But you know which ones are the best? Every black family knows about these. These will get you through the time. Six for a dollar. Raymond noodles. That's how we living. This is the living room. We got a little James. He be jamming. James be jamming, boy. This is our retarded bird, Jelly. I really don't like Jelly, because he tried to attack me one time. He literally jumped out of the cage and chased me all around the house. This is our pool. I think we've been in it about five times, because we're never home, and whenever we're home, it just happens to either be too cold, or we don't want to get our hair wet. <laughs> We got a nice view of everything. We got a little boat that we go out on sometimes. And the jacuzzi, y'all see the scene. Now that we can do, we can get in the jacuzzi. It's kind of chilly out here in Houston, so we're gonna take it back in the house. When I first decided that I wanted to redecorate it, my room, I decided I wanted to go with an oriental theme. I bought furniture, I bought these armoires and the coffee table, and I went to like authentic places and got like little Chinese figures. Me and my mom picked out this picture. I think that a dove was trying to make its way on the stairways of heaven, and on the way there, he got struck by lightning. <laughs> I searched all over the world for this comforter because I knew that I wanted a uh, silk, satin, whatever it is. I wanted it shiny. Right here is my little jewelry collection. This one is one of my favorites. It's like a little Pocahontas deal. So if anybody wants to give me gifts, then you know what to get me. This is my record collection. Um, I've been collecting them for a while now, and a lot of them, um, I don't even know who the people are. I just pick them up because they look like they would make good music. <laughs> and um, I haven't found one I haven't liked. I love candles, so 
they're like all over the place. All of the little stencil things right here, I all painted them myself. I'm a do-it-yourself type of person. So how am I living? Um, I'm living free, I'm living blessed. I'm living every day like it's my last. I'm living keeping it real. I'm living in salon style. <laughs>